This is Inside the Trenches, where PJ Candido and Max Ruiz break down the top three rushing performances around the NFL. What's going on? This is episode four of In the Trenches. With me, as always, is Max Ruiz. I'm PJ Candido. Today, we're joined by special guest Kevin Mungai, former Philadelphia Eagles and Minnesota Vikings running back and current free agent. We're going to talk about the top three rushing performances from week seven in the NFL. That includes the Miami Dolphins for the second time in a row, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But this running back in Miami, Jay Ajayi, in just his third start, is really starting to make a name for himself. Well, thanks for having me, PJ. I think Jay is an amazing running back. He's had uh, two back-to-back 200-yard -back games, and he's actually the first to do that since Ricky Williams in 2002. So, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm really excited about the way he's performing. And, you know, when a young running back's buying in and he's hitting the holes with authority, it makes it easy for the O-line up front. When you know the back's going to hit it, you're just going to hold those blocks an extra two seconds because you know he's going to spring it. So we'll take it to the film. Here's a look at inside zone from the Dolphins. Right guard Jerome Bushrod does a great job of going back to the linebacker as his gap is not threatened. And he seals off the edge. Running back just hits it. Watch Ajay here, how he's running with his shoulder square the whole time. Uses the jump cuts. Makes it easy to get in and out. This is another inside run play from the Dolphins. We got combo by the center and right guard. Would have liked to see our right tackle get a little bit more push, but he did just enough to help spring the running back. Here you want to take note of the combo by the center and right guard. Right guard does a great job getting up to the backer. Again, jump cuts by the running back, and he just splits the two defenders. The Dolphins snapped the Buffalo Bills' four-game winning streak. They have now won two in a row, and Jay Ajayi in that offensive line, a big reason why. We go over to Cincinnati, where the Bengals beat the Cleveland Browns 31-17. Yeah, you know, the Bengals are a team generally known for their run game. They kind of strayed away from it early this season, but it's good to see them back to it. You know, it's starting to develop, so they're going to come to the run even more now. Yeah, they have a two-headed monster over there with Jeremy Hill and Gio Bernard, uh, but Hill really had a breakout performance. Yeah, he did. I think it's been impressive what he did this past week. You know, nine carries, 168 yards, and a 74-yard touchdown, which was really impressive. Yeah, so that run game is uh, finally getting found over there in Cincinnati. Uh, that's a big reason why they got a win. Let's check out the tape and see how they got it done up front. Here's yet another inside zone look now from the Bengals. Watch the fullback 89 leading up and he gets the will. Great displacement here by the right tackle. Really knocking that linebacker off the track and it gives the running back the room to find the hole. The Bengals show us a really cool look at counter tray here. Watch the left guard, left tackle. Both of them are going to pull around. Similar to power, everyone else is going to gap down. And the running back just does a great job of seeing daylight and taking advantage, hitting the hole hard. We move on to San Francisco where the Tampa Bay Bucks got their second win in a row. They won 34-17 coming off their bye week. Yeah, Jaquiz Rogers had a big day. I mean, I wouldn't say big, but definitely efficient. You know, 26 carries, 154 yards, so it's definitely a good day for any back. Yeah, you know, uh, the 49ers, they struggle on defense, especially against the run. They're ranked last in the league. And we're going to show you a few clips to see how the Bucks took advantage of that. Here the Buccaneers motion into double tight. It's a pretty even look. Got inside zone. Notice how the left guard, the center, and the right guard, they do a great job of playing with their eyes. Not chasing the defenders, but staying true to their gap. Right guard comes off to the backer. The running back just stays tight to the hole and scoots through. We'll end on a power play by the Bucks. Rodgers here does a great job of taking it to the backside, and he's up for 45. Jacquees, he had a great day. I want you guys to take note of the running back's aiming point here. See how it's the inside leg of the play side guard? He gets to that point, and then he makes the cut. It's not ideal for the running back to go to the backside on power, but Rodgers does a great job here. That'll wrap it up for Week 7 in the NFL. Uh, Kev, thanks for joining us. Come back next week, and we'll check out the top rushing performances from Week 8.